Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, in today's video, we're going to show you what to pack and how to pack it for your very first Carnival Cruise. All right, so let's talk about clothing. Yeah. So for a five day sailing, you know at minimum, you're gonna need at least five outfits to take you through the duration of your cruise. Right. Plus you're gonna need your elegant night attire. Then if you a swimwear kind of person, you're gonna need that. And you're gonna need something to sleep in. This is what I do when preparing for a cruise for myself. I know that Lynette is going to change her clothes at least twice a day. It's just who I am, it's what I'm gonna do. So I already know that I'm gonna have to pack me 10 outfits plus my elegant night attire, then whatever else I bring along with me to enhance my cruise experience personally. For me, when I go to get my nails done and my toes done, I just pick a color theme. And what yep. I mean by that is I pick a color and I bring clothing along that's just going to translate and complement that color. What I mean by that is if I am picking the color red, <laughs> y'all see them, <laughs> y'all see them. These are the exact shoes I wore on my last group cruise and my color theme for the cruise was red. So I have the blues, the blacks, the whites, the yellows, and the red, of course. I pack simple things like biker shorts. Like, you can get these on Amazon in packs of threes and fours, and they're good quality. You're not gonna be able to see through them. Graphic tees, I mean, you see them. Uh -huh. Beauty Boom. and the beard. I'm gonna put my link below. It'll save you 25% off. Yeah. Different kinds of t-shirts that's going to complement those sneakers if I decided to put those on at any part of the cruise. But we're not gonna stop there. Yeah. We have times where we're gonna spruce it up a little bit. So this is when we get into the sundresses, the rompers, but I'm gonna show you how we navigate through that as well. All right, bam. So y'all saw the sneakers. We're not gonna wear those the entire time we're on a ship. Now come on now. <laughs> so what I do is I bring a nude, like a earth tone pair of slides, sandals, or something like this, and something that's black, something that is going to be able to complement those other things that I spoke of, like my romper. I have a short set romper. That'll take you through where you're going to brunch or if you want to go to the dining room at night. You have a little festive like bell bottom outfit with the cover up and the tie that ties in the front. You can put a tank top under that. That would go really nice with some slides. We have a t-shirt dress. This is something that's very simple that you can put on. Yeah. It has ruching on the side. Look, we're gonna make this real light, comfortable. We're not gonna overthink it. And we're choosing materials that are very flexible and that can lay very flat in your bag. Hold on, we ain't gonna stop there because we also have those times when we wanna go to the nightclub, yeah. get it in. This is the exact outfit that I wore at the nightclub on our previous group cruise that we did. I had a tank top on and this kimono that ties into the front into a nice little knot so that you'll show just a little bit, a little peekaboo action, <laughs> and some distressed cut off yeah. jeans from Fashion Nova. Something that would just make you look like you're a little bit more put together, but it still doesn't take up a whole lot of space in your, in your luggage. Then, like I told you, we cannot forget about Elegant Night. Yeah, man. What I tell you the theme was? This Boom. Is, this is the exact dress that I wore on our last group cruise. And then I have a pair of glittery pumps to complement the dress. Along with my elegant night attire, I am also going to accessorize with clutches. I'm going to have my nice little jewelry on and all of that good stuff. And what I do is I put all of my jewelry in here so that yeah. I know where it is. And it's just not floating around in different parts of my suitcase that they're actually tucked away in somewhere else like here. And while we're on the accessories, I'm also the fanny pack girl and the crossbody purse yep. kind of girl. <laughs> so if I am on a ship, most of the time I will, you know, gravitate more to putting something around my waist so I can just forget about it and I don't have to worry about it strapped across my chest, right? But there are sometimes like 
the sundress that I put on the t-shirt dress. This looks better accessorized with that than this one. So now let's go ahead and hit the swimwear. This is how I do my swimwear because I am such a water baby. I know that I am going to get in the water probably like at least three times during the duration. I'm doing pools. I'm doing oceans. Uh, yes, I might indeed. even jump on some jet skis. I don't <laughs> even know. But I'm going to bring at least three different sets of swimwear and a couple of cover-ups. But when I do my cover-ups, I make sure that they are a solid color so that they can go through each of the swimwear that I decide to put on. Bam. Yeah. So this is a leopard print one piece that gives you the illusion of a two piece bathing suit. And so I will put something like that on. And then this is a romper cover up. This cover up will go with any of the swimwear pieces that I decide to put on. And also I have these swim biker shorts. And the reason that I also pack these is because those are some times where you just wanna walk around the port or you want to go from the ship to wherever you're going and you just don't wanna walk around with your sheer cover up on at that moment, go ahead and throw some biker shorts on with your swimwear and it will just make you look a little bit more put together and a little yeah. bit more covered up. And also to go along with the swimwear, y'all know we got to have our water shoes. I'm not walking around in yeah, nobody's man. pool or anybody's ocean with just my, my bare feet. My we can't God do that. Had water shoes. So these water shoes are clutch. These are not your little cheap, like thin sold kind like these are the kind that if you are going into some rugged territory where you know there might be shards of glass rough rocks these are going to protect your feet and they're very comfortable also don't forget your visor hat i'm not much of a hat girl but when i feel like i need to keep the sun off of my face this visor hat definitely comes in in a clutch and and what is a good beach day <laughs> if you don't have your sunshades to yes, go along with my those as well. Yes, indeed. If you know, you know, I am the queen of good sunglasses. So I always try to pack silver tone, gold tone, and then black on blacks so that they could take me through anything that I am wearing while I'm on vacation. All right, so it's time to go to sleep. You're gonna need something to sleep in. So because we're just gonna try to keep it real basic for the time being. Yeah. Just pick out like a night pajama or a two piece set to sleep in or something like that. But if you want to be grown and sexy like we are, cause we are on vacation, yeah, right? Yeah, man. We on vacation now. <laughs> if you're by yourself, you can do this too. If you with somebody else, you can do this too. But, but spruce some things up. Pack your nice lingerie. We gonna say we'll that. Say lingerie. Just, <laughs> just for the sake of this YouTube video, so they don't pick it up. But yeah, get yourself some lingerie. <laughs> Bring your novelties. Do all that stuff. We packing it all on this trip, okay? We doing grown up things on yeah. where? On vacation. Because we did what? We paid for it. Exactly. We paid for it. So we gotta make it count. Gotta make it. Gotta count. make it count. But also make sure you're packing things like if you do novelty things, pack those. I ain't gonna show you none of that because yeah. I'm not trying to get my <laughs> channel shut down. But now I am going to yield the floor to my husband because he's going to yeah, show you man. all how to pack for your very first cruise, but from a male's perspective. I got you, fellas. I got you. Let's get on into it. <laughs> all right, fellas, I'm not as extensive as a queen. I'm not packing 10 outfits on a five-day cruise if I don't have to. Most You're packing seven. Most of the time it's about six or seven, you know, so I can have enough for either elegant night or if I want to go to the club or to a specialty dining. But I keep it real simple. I like to be real light, um, put pack stuff that can actually fit in my bag real easily. So I do stuff like I do my basketball shorts. I'll do my cargo shorts. I used to do jean, um, jean shorts, but them Jones were too goddamn hot, so I stopped it. But if you want to do jean shorts, bro, feel free. Yeah, go on with it, man. All right, as far as shirts, I keep it simple with shirts. So most of the time I will have polo shirt. I'll do some uh, t-shirts in all different colors. And I'll throw in a few graphic tees. And also fellas, I do tank tops. Now this is what I walk around in the most, my basketball shorts and my tank tops because I want to be cool, light, and easy while I'm on vacation. All right, now for shoes to go all that, fellas, typically with the shoes, man, I usually normally just bring one pair of shoes to go with everything, which will be like a black pair. So I'll bring these, but if I got something that requires me to have another color, so like on the past group cruise, we was in red, so I went and brought 
my red shoes along with my black shoes. All right, then also, fellas, I bring me a pair of slides. And just like the queen, I got to have my water shoes, man. Absolutely. I I can't stand walking around in pools or in the beach without these on. All right, fellas, now for like elegant night, I keep it real simple, man. I just wear a simple uh, button down. So this was the uh, shirt I put on, on the last cruise that the queen convinced me to get. Which it was fire. I, yeah, which I fell in love with it. Then also I wear a pair of slacks with that. But if you wanna wear a suit or a tuxedo, man, you can do that as well. And with the Elegant Night attire, I bring uh, my dress shoes. And this right here, fellas, you absolutely do not want to forget is your goddamn belt. <laughs> Cause this is what we usually forget. And our wife or our girlfriends or our significant other be fussing that like, you always forgetting your goddamn belt. Now fellas, as far as swimwear, I just usually bring me some, some swimming trunks. I usually bring about two pairs of swimming trunks. So that way, if I get out of the water and I want to get back in same day, I ain't got to put another wet pair on. And I usually just go to the, with my tank top and this to the, uh, to the pool or to the beach. All right, as far as accessories, fellas, usually I'll bring like, my my necklace i usually bring my watch so you want to make sure you have a watch and then also i make sure i have me the baseball cap and then a recent addition um after the past group cruise um uh dre and shan had they bucket hats and then some of the fellas had theirs and i was like baby i need to get one of these to keep the sun off me so i'm gonna start wearing my my bucket hat as well so, and last but not least fellas don't forget your shade and as far as sleeping, uh, I sleep in my birthday suit. So <laughs> I, I don't, coming. but as far as you, bro, whatever you sleep in, bring that. All right, fam, if you enjoying this video so far, go ahead and smash that like button so the algorithm can send this video to other first time Carnival cruisers so they can know how to pack too, man. Just like you. All right, y'all, let's talk toiletries. I'm yeah, gonna run man. through some of the things that I bring on board. This is just a guy if you want to add to, of course you can do that. But the first thing that I do is because I wear a dental device, I make sure that I have this secured with the retainer. And I also have all of the products that go along with it, the cleaning tabs, but also all of my dental care. Toothpaste, mouthwash, floss, tongue yeah. scrapers, all of that, I like to keep it in a plastic bag. Keep it separate so that it you feel like it's not being contaminated. All right, we have your soap. Your soap and your body wash, that's without giving. Deodorant, I do the travel size. It comes in handy. You can't be rocking around funky, man. Ooh, not at all. And the pill case. You have the pill case here. Y'all have seen it 100,000 times. This is the best Clutch. one that I've ever found because you put your stuff in it and you lock it into place so nothing moves around. But if you're traveling with a prescription, and it's like a controlled substance, go ahead and leave it in its original bottle. But anything else, you're pretty much good to go of putting right. it in an organizer. Good old Benadryl cream. Yeah, I might. For some reason, I must taste sweet because the bugs <laughs> always eat me up. So I make sure I get this so that I don't itch and whelp up. Lotion and body cream. Got to can be ashy. Can be ashy, yo. I also travel with some Carmix for the good old lips. Also, some Visine or some kind of drops. We're not drinking enough water, we're not getting right. enough sleep, and it shows wear in your eyes. This is my makeup bag. It also carries like my skincare regimen in it as well. And within this, this is very important for me, I use these disposable compressed um, um, face towels. Baby, let me tell you, this is a game changer. I think I learned these from Pretty Brie MUA here on YouTube, but legit, it is, this size, like the size of a silver dollar, you put it under water and it's a full size face what? towel. And yeah. I'm not talking about no flimsy little thing. I'm talking about that this is legit yeah. a face towel. And I take- um, it And comes, it's tough too. It's real tough. Yeah, it's tough. And it comes with this and I'll link those below. Like everything that we're talking about, we'll link them below. And we got these from Amazon, get like 25 of them and it's really inexpensive. Gotta have some flushable wipes because you gotta take care of your butt raises. <laughs> Perfume, I put mine in these travel size things right here so that I don't have to walk around with my big bottle. This is Versace. Also, a travel razor by day three, you feel like sandpaper. And also, I travel with some clippers and a nail buffer because when you're on vacation, yeah, things my. are prone to break your nails. So 
crown the chip. This also acts as a pair of scissors. If you need to cut that tag off that new shirt you just bought, you forgot right. to pull it off, clip, clip, <laughs> just clip it off. It's You're good to go. Also, you would think these are contact um, lenses. They're not. It's edge control. I'm my sorry, baby. My contact case. So I put them, I dip it out and put it in here and I have my edge brush right here so you can lay your baby hair. So we just can't have nothing, can we, fellas? Just take, just take everything. And <laughs> we're gonna let that one slide. We're gonna let it slide. I am a black woman, so I gotta travel with a head scarf or a head bonnet. You gotta put just the bonnet on, gotta man. Gotta protect the hair. I also um, travel with my good old C bands. Yeah, and man. These are for seasickness. Also, we have some type of sunscreen and sunblock. Got block. to have it. This one right here, which is a mineral-based sunscreen, I put all over my face and neck because I'm more sensitive in those areas. And then the copper tone, we'll go ahead and put this all over the body. Just because you're black doesn't mean that you don't need no sun yes, sunscreen indeed. or sunblock. Right. Because we still burn. Double-sided tape, waterproof. This will be your best friend, ladies. Yeah. Those tops that hang off the shoulder, tape it in place. Swimwear, when it gets heavy, it slides around. Tape it in place. This stuff does not move. Yeah. Gotta, gotta travel with this. If you've ever traveled with me, you know my room smells amazing. Yeah, because man. Because I travel with you some type be of smelling good. plug in. Because I want it to feel homey. I want to feel like it's inviting once I come back from having a good day out on the Lido deck. And also, I put this in the bathroom so that you can have a courtesy spray. Why are you looking at me? This is the new poopery, Bath and Body Works. You know, the good old dish detergent. This is for your nasty cups and your reusable straws, and you can do some cleanup with this as well. You yes, gotta have indeed. that. And some microband micro Lysol. You got to have this. This is trial size, baby. All right, now that I've showed you what I bring on board in my toiletries bag, my husband is gonna teach you all, you first time cruisers, how you do it, men edition. I got you, fellas, I got you. You see the queen list was this long for her toiletries, mine's gonna be like this, cause we gotta keep it simple, fellas. So let's get on into it. All right, fellas, the first thing that I bring is I make sure I have my floss, my toothpaste, my toothbrush, and my mouthwash. The next thing, man, I bring me some soap. The next thing that I make sure I bring, fellas, is my Cantu beard oil, my wooden pick, and my brush, because I got to make sure I got to keep the beard tight, man. But also, if, I, if I'm rocking my hair like I am now, I'll put this in my hair too. But as for you, if you don't got a beard and have beard oil, make sure you bring your hair products, man. Next thing I bring, fellas, I make sure I bring my handy dandy deodorant. Next thing I make sure I bring, fellas, is my contact solution and my contact case because I wear contacts. So if you have this, if you wear them too, make sure you bring that. And also, fellas, I make sure that I bring me an extra pair of contacts. Also, I bring along my glasses. So when I take Woo. them bad boys out, I can see. So you make sure if you do the same thing, You're bring your glasses. Me. Man, they, I mean, they is thick, but hey, leave my glasses alone. All right, the next thing I Car bring mix. is make sure I bring my car mix, man, and make sure these lips are taken care of. I can't be walking around the Lido deck looking like I just ate some chalk, dog. <laughs> the next thing I do, I make sure I bring my meds. Now, typically we do a five day cruise. So the rule of thumb is make sure you double your medicine dose for your cruise. Cause you just never know if anything gonna happen that you can't get back home in time to get your medicine. The next thing I bring fellas is my cologne, my Jimmy Choo man. So down in the comments, let me know what cologne you like to wear. The next thing I bring fellas is my sunscreen. See, by you being a first time cruiser, you don't know what that Caribbean sun is gonna be like. That sun don't kiss you, dog. That sun licks you. So you wanna make sure you have this on because if not, you're gonna be scaling like a fish. And sometimes even with it on, you're you still a scale. scale. But with this, you, you be scaling less. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing, fella, I make sure I bring my Lysol to take care of the germs in the room. And also, we make sure we bring at least two of um, at-home COVID tests just in case. Um, something happened on the ship and we feel like we done, done caught the virus so we can go ahead and test it in the comfort of our cabin. All right, we're at the portion of the video where we're gonna talk about the enhancements, in my opinion, they are necessities. But right. these are things that's gonna make your cruise experience just that more special yeah, and man. more convenient. A good old tumbler and a god darn lanyard. Yeah, this man, is for your for, sign and sail. For your sign and sail yes, card indeed. to secure it around your neck. Go ahead and secure that. But if, listen, y'all see the brand and Code Fun Travel. If you need a good travel agent, 
Eight months in a row, top 25. I mean, you couldn't be in better hands. Shameless plug. Indeed. The next thing you want to bring to enhance your cruise as a first time cruiser is a waterproof phone case and a waterproof fanny pack. Now these is for your phone or your money or anything you want to bring to the water that you don't want to get wet. These are perfect for that. And Mike. this is perfect for it as well. Yeah. Phone, all of that. Triple seal, zip, zip, zip. Fold it like a joint. <laughs> Put it around your waist. You're good, good to, go. to go. All right, the next thing you want to bring as a first time cruiser a pack is a nine surge protected cord, man. This, Absolutely. These come in clutch. Um, we love this one because we got two additional plugs, three USBs and a USB-C. So this junk is clutch. Also, what I like to bring is my my Beats, man. Like And my AirPods, man. Some people are like, you're on a cruise, why would you need these? Sometimes you want to listen to audio books. Sometimes you want to lay in bed, look at TikTok videos like <laughs> I do. You don't want to disturb everyone. And if you're traveling on a plane, yeah. you definitely want to do something like this so you don't have to do the corded ones if you don't want to. Exactly. The next thing you want to bring, towel clips. Towel clips. Listen, at first we were one of those people like, we don't need those. Yeah. <laughs> but what we really use it for is when we have to put our swimwear out on the balcony to dry quicker, you don't want it to blow away. So we just clip our swimwear to the little chairs and it doesn't go anywhere. Yep. But they are towel clips for your beach towels. Yeah. All right, the next thing that we bring to enhance our trip is we got to have our Bluetooth speaker. So when we're in our cabin, we can have some tunes to listen to. Now, if you bring one of these, make sure you bring one this size. Don't bring no huge one because they will confiscate them. Yeah. Because yeah. they think that you're going to be real loud or try to start a party on the cruise or you're disturbing your neighbors because your music too loud. Don't do it. Bring one about this size. Also, we've gotten questions. Well, if I don't have a Wi-Fi package, how can I listen to music? If you don't have a Wi-Fi package, you have to download the yep. music so that you can listen to it offline. That's the only way. But if you have a uh, Wi-Fi package, don't even worry about it. The next thing that we have is a neck fan. We are the people that never thought we were going to walk around yeah, with these man. things around our neck. Ooh. But I promise you, I think the sun is getting closer. <laughs> because, ooh! But listen, you put this thing around your neck and you turn it on, you barely even hear it. Like you'll hear it, yeah. but the person beside you won't even know that it's on. Right. Ooh. It feels so game good. Changer. Game changer. And man. for my flashing sisters, y'all know who I'm talking to? Get this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next thing we bring to enhance our, our trip is I bring a beach backpack and a beach bag. Yeah, man, so this coming real clutch when you get ready to go to the beach. Usually I bring my beach towel from the ship on here. I put my uh, sunscreen in here. I put the towel clips in here. Your tumbler. My tumbler, all that good stuff goes in here or anything that I wanna take with me to the beach goes in here. And also it comes in clutch because if you're buying stuff in port, yeah, you don't man. have to lug it around. You can just throw it in the backpack or throw it in your beach bag and yep. toss it over your shoulder. And keep it moving. And keep it moving. The next thing we bring along is a dirty clothes bag. Yeah. If you've been around the channel for a while, you shouldn't be new to it. You should be true to this. <laughs> but this is one that you basically do a little ding thing right here, and it has a strap. It goes on your back. Now, we would never do this on a cruise nah, ship, walk around with your dirty around clothes like bag <laughs> in, a, in a Santa Claus sack. But no, what we do is we put all our dirty clothes in it. Since we come together as a couple, we put dirty clothes in one person's suitcase, take them home, put all of the unused clothes in another suitcase, right. take them home. All right, the next thing we bring, because we like capturing memories and putting videos on YouTube, we make sure we bring what we call the DJI Pocket 2 and a and GoPro. GoPro. We bring the GoPro so when we're in the water or we at the beach, we can record while we're in the water. Now the DJI Pocket 2 is clutch. This is what we record everything else on. It is nice and sleek, very discreet. When people see it, they be like, is that a camera? Yes, it is. It's a camera and it works out perfectly. So if you need something real small that you want to carry to be able to record, get you one of these, man. It come in yeah. clutch. And it's not intimidating, but yeah. if you want to look at to see what the quality of it is, because it's so small, you think yeah. that, oh, it doesn't look good. All of our cruise vlogs, our Dominican Republic, our yeah. Mexico vlogs, all of them were recorded on this. Quality amazing. Yes, and I love that. And you, you can take it and put it right back in the case like this, real small, and put that in your pocket, man. 
And of course, family, you don't want to forget your phone charger. Now, this one I got, I got this one where I got multiple plugs. So if you have a single plug, that's cool too. But I got one for my Apple Watch. I got one for some of my um, devices required, the USB-C type of um, plug. Then this is your regular, and I call it the Android plug. Yeah. Because <laughs> it go to everything. And then the, the one for my phone. So this is real clutch. So make sure you don't forget any of your charging cords that to part. any of your devices. Another thing that we bring to enhance our cruise, if you're on the beach, listen, a good Oh, water floaty has never hurt anybody. Yeah, and this man. is so transportable. Listen, it has the net in the middle. Yeah. But then the end, you have you can blow these up and but, an amazing floating device. But shouts out to Patrice on our last on the group cruise that turned those on there because she had her floaty out there. And we were like, and we was like, we sold and we somebody actually gave us two floaties, but we couldn't bring them back. Yeah, they but were ever since stuff. then, we've been buying floaties, man. Love them. Yes. Another thing that could enhance your cruise experience, especially if you're a first timer, all the cabins look alike. So this is something that someone gifted to me on our last cruise. Yeah. And it hangs up by a magnet and it's a and you can put it on your door to identify your cabin. So you'll know that, hey, this is my cabin without having to memorize the number. The next thing that we have, this is more of a security thing. We know that we can't travel with our tasers, pepper spray, or anything like that, but we do want to be alerted that if someone is trying to enter our cabin or our hotel rooms is that we have this door stopper thing and it comes like this it's really small like yeah. it's not big at all so this is how it works you slide this under your door and we do this on every vacation yep. because you just never know and sometimes it's not even people having bad intentions it could be your cabin steward and you just slept in a little later that day so you want to be alerted when someone's entering your sleeping quarters you turn it on slide it under so the moment that someone slides that door on here yep. you're getting up yeah <laughs> all right we're at the portion of the video where we're going to teach you how to pack a carry-on yeah first my... let me explain what a carry-on is i don't want you to get this confused with a carry-on for a flight right but a carry-on for a cruise is simply a bag backpack doesn't matter the size, shape, dimension, any of that. You just have to make sure that you can do what? Carry, Carry it on. on. And the purpose of this bag is, is because you need to get on board with certain things on your person. Right. You're not going to be able to put them in your luggage and have it come to your door later on. Right. For instance, Carnival Cruise Lines, they allow you to come on board with one 750 milliliter bottle of wine. Don't you bring the liter. And don't bring that big jug with <laughs> you put your finger in it. Yeah. But they're going to be like, what you're not going to do is bring that on here. But you have to walk this on. Yeah. So you can put this in your carry-on. And that way it makes it easier for you to transport it. So with your wine, you want to make sure that you bring a travel size corkscrew. Because if you go to the dining room and you don't have a twist top and you got a cork, they're going to charge you to open your wine. So make sure you bring your own, man. Also, you heard us talk about our medicine or anything like that. Right. These are things that you definitely want to put on in your carry-on. Because one, you don't know when your luggage is going to end up at your door. So if you're a person that takes medicine on a schedule, you could miss your next your next dosage if your medicine or your bag hasn't in, came back to your room in time. Right. Or it could be delayed, lost. You definitely want to make sure you keep that on you. Another thing, vital, do not, do, do, do not yeah. put your passport, boarding pass, birth certificate, ID in your checked luggage. Please Make don't. sure that it is in your carry-on so that you can board the ship along with your boarding documents. What are your yeah. boarding documents? When you download and check in online for Carnival Cruise Lines and you have your printed boarding pass and your luggage tags, that's the boarding documents I'm speaking of. But if you're going to board with your passport, make sure your passport is accompanied by a government issued ID. If you're going to come with a birth certificate, yeah. do not get the come with the birth certificate. It got the fee, fee on, on it. it. That <laughs> is not a valid birth certificate. 
make sure you also have a government issued ID to partner with that. If you are vaccinated, make sure that your vaccine card yeah, is man. somewhere in here as uh, well. Yep. And make sure you download the Verify app so that anything that you need to do, it makes it easier to get on board. Follow the prompts, it's an easy app to use. The next thing that you wanna put in your carry-on is your nice little tumbler because once you get on the ship, you may want to start getting your water or start drinking some juices yeah. or some alcoholic beverages if you wanna put those into your tumbler because if you get their glasses, it makes the stuff melt very fast. Yeah. So go ahead and put that in there so you can have access to this immediately and also make sure your lanyard is also there so once you have access to your sale and sign card yeah you can go ahead and secure it put it around your neck so that you won't lose it all right what else we make sure that we have in our carry-on is a power bank for our cell phones because if you've been traveling all day most likely your cell phone is probably almost dead so you definitely want to have you one this is one by anchor i love it my wife got one yes. as well so yeah make sure you put this in there as well uh what else we put in our carry-on is we i make sure that i have my wallet i put this in one of my pockets i make sure i have my car keys and my house keys i put these in there along with my passport my vaccination card and my boarding pass I have that all in here, so once I get in there, I know I got everything in my carry-on that I need. Also, for your carry-on, if you plan on swimming when you get on the ship, make sure you put your swimming trunks inside of here as well. And like we said, anything that you know that you're going to need as soon as you get on board, make sure you have that in your carry-on. And also to add to that, we don't have a 12 pack of sodas to show you, but you can bring 12 cartons of something or yes. cans of a beverage, but you have to carry that on as well. So that's something we've also gotten away from. But if you want to- Yeah, go on over drink them. Yeah, the easiest way to do it for us was we used to use a hand cart, like a yeah. miniature luggage cart. Yeah, and pull it Strap it on and just pull it along with us. But yeah. like we said, we don't do that anymore. Right. And then last but not least, I have this pouch that has all of my cords, all the things that I need for my cruise chargers, laptop chargers all that good stuff so that right. goes in here as well i do the same i put all my charges in here as well the one i showed y'all is in the carry-on now we're in the part of the video where we're going to show you how to pack your luggage this is our bag that we pack we get all of our clothing yep. for at least seven days in, in here this. As you can see right here, you probably said, what are those little plastic sleeves they have right here? Now, this could be considered an enhancement for most. This is a requirement. Yeah. This is a luggage tag sleeve. When you're about to go on your cruise, you're going to get your luggage tags printed out from Carnival. They're paper. Yeah. They are going to rip. They tell you you could staple them. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Put them in a... this sleeve right yeah, here. Yeah, please and it will be secure. We keep them on our bags just so yeah. we can keep up with them yeah. because they're so durable, they're not gonna rip off. How I pack my suitcase is I do the roll method. You've heard it as the military method. Basically, you roll your clothes up and you save so much space by doing that. It's something we've done for forever. It's allowed us to downsize from a regular size um, suitcase down to a carry-on suitcase. So this is how we do it. Everything fits. We can do seven days easily in our carry-on with the rollaway method. All right, if you enjoyed this video, you want to check out this video right here, 12 things not to pack on a carnival cruise, and we're going to catch you in the next video. Peace. Peace.